we're measuring the, uh, the length of the piece of EPDM we need. I have a roll of a 10 by 100, so it's going to be 10 feet wide um, this way. That's why we dug our planter approximately 4 feet deep and then 2 feet wide. It's approximately, it's four, it's approximately 4 feet down each side, that makes 8 feet, and then it's 2 feet wide on the bottom. So, so we're going to fully utilize our 10 foot wide piece of EPDM. And we're just measuring the length that we need right now. So we're going all the way from one end of this cell to the other end of the cell, plus a foot, um, to make sure that we can have overlap over the top of this. Um, 17 7. Just, yeah, 17 7. So we're going to cut a piece of EPDM 10 foot by 17 foot 7 inches. Gold diggers. Incarnation of Bob Marley. That's a, so, uh, I wonder how it's being taken by his fans. I don't know. I was surprised like more people haven't heard of it because it was on. What are you doing? I want to get a little more slack pulled towards that way. This is the way you go. This is the way you dismantle a gray water cell. <laughs> Story of evolutionary development. I know. This is complete Darwinism right in front of our eyes. That rock looks a little sharp, buddy. That edge. No, no worries, man. Which, which... Finishing up uh, the rock bulbs and the gravel in our planters right now, and you can see in this in our middle planter section here, you can see that we got about a foot, foot and a half of water, and we made some marks on the on the EPDM rubber last night um, to see if this was going to hold water after we filled um, after we did our rock bulbs. You can see uh, a shallow rock bulb at the bottom, and then underneath these these flaps of plastic and rubber we have our bigger rock bulbs that are surrounding our, uh, our equalization points between the, uh, between the different planters. Um, the reason for that, the bigger rock bulbs create bigger spaces in between the rocks, which allows a uh, higher volume of water flow. So we want that at all the inputs and outputs of all of our planters so that uh, we have water flowing, flowing at a steady rate throughout our entire uh, planter. Uh, in, throughout our entire gray water planters. Um, and we have that shallow rock bulb at the bottom there so that as water is inputted into the planters, not only can they flow quickly from plant from section to section, but they can also the water can also flow through the, through the bottom of, of the one planter itself. Um, because on top of that, we're gonna have gravel. And you can see in our last planter over here, we're totally filled with gravel to where the water line is going to be. Everything above this gravel is going to be uh, like a mix of uh, uh, potting soil, dirt, peat moss, uh, and uh, 
few other ingredients to make the soil light. Um, so as you can see, you know, with smaller gravel, you don't have as, as big of voids in between the rocks as you do with the bigger 5 to 12 inch rocks. Uh, so you're not going to have the same type of water flow. So that's why, again, we have that shallow rock bowl with the bottom of all this gravel, as you can see in our middle planter, so that water can flow steadily at the bottom of the planter, and it will flow s slower through this gravel.